Hi everyone, here's a look at a lap for Interlagos for week one of season one 2018 in the ProMaster. Now make sure you get a very clean exit, it's very easy to bash that inside curb or to run overly wide because you don't want to um, you don't want to compromise the start of your next lap so it doesn't really matter if you get the perfect run off that final corner but you just want to be there or thereabouts as these cars hit near terminal speed down the straight anyway. Now take a fairly tight line, cutting as much of the track as you can and move to the outside of the track. Now I'm braking after the 50 metre marker by a fair margin. I guess you'd be braking at what you'd consider probably around the 30 metre marker. But I'm using the 50 metre board and just sort of braking after it. Now you really need to gradually creep up your braking points into this um, into this braking zone. You don't, as you'll find, you're braking too early to start with and you just get to the limit. It's really important that you have to brake and flow the momentum into the first apex. So I'm braking in a straight line fairly hard and then slightly trailing it in on initial turn in and making sure I carry the momentum in and over this first curve but not too much because you've got to then get hard in the throttle and cut it back over the second apex. That will push you out. Now it looks, it looks like a fairly easy but it's quite a complex um, section of corners because if you go too deep in the first apex and you miss it then you've got to cut the car back for the second apex and you miss it a lot of time. Now just hugging tight left over here, don't add any more track distance than you have to, follow that inside curve all the way around the corner. If you go out wide early, you're just adding track distance. Now here, I'm braking at around the 50 meter board, just maybe slightly a little bit after it. Now it's very important to get to brake, then lift off the brake fairly early and carry the momentum in and over this inside apex. If you're even like half a meter wide of that inside apex, you really lose a lot of time as you have to overturn the car and um, to get it into the next corner. Quite a few laps I've come in here broke just a tiny bit too late and brought the front left wheel up around here and it really does cost you quite a bit. So you've got to carry it up and over that inside curb and go out wide. Now this outside track, if you, you can't use as much of it as it looks. If you get the car out and up on this inside curb, it gives you a 1x. So that's why it's ultra important to get the inside, um, inside curb to open the corner up. Basically anywhere around Interlagos where you look at the curbs and you see they've got that sort of darker texture like they've been driven on, that's kind of inviting you to drive up and over them until that goes away past the bit of the curb that's typically driven on. It's quite interesting that designers have made that choice. No black mark there, whereas a black mark there. They go in and up over the inside of Now through here, you're turning in just after this 10 meter, um, I guess that's a 10 meter board, but that marshalling post there is pretty much a turn in zone. You're on the slight brakes. Now I actually made an error in this lap downshifting in a fourth. Don't downshift to fourth on the entry, it will just slightly unstable the car. And um, you need quite a lot of high speed turn in to get through this right handers. Because this track has a mixture of high speed and low speed corners, you've kind of got to make a compromise a set. Like do you want the spring rates high? and therefore quite good through the, um, the high speed stuff because it keeps the aero flat or do you want the lower spring rates and then grippier through the slow speed stuff which gives you a better turn but on the flip side doesn't quite grip through the high speed corners as well. I've kind of went with this setup a more compromise towards the low speed corners because there's quite a lot of really low first and second gear corners in this um, later part of the track. So you're turning in there and you want to keep it fairly tight. Don't push too hard. Go over and touch the first inside apex and then hold it on the tight line and get in the throttle only when you get up on that second inside apex. If you come in here too hot, you're chasing the car through the whole corner and especially with the lower downforce you run here, once it, if you're out wide on this first apex, it's pretty difficult to bring it back in anywhere near the second one. So holding a tight line through there. Now pushing the car out, but don't get out in that outside curb where it can catch it. Then you want to transition into the hard braking zone and you're aiming here because you want to bring the car right up over this right hand curb. 
that minimizes the track length. Then you continue to turn right and cut it back up over the left side curb. Now you want to hold it on a fairly tight line through here. It's very tempting to just hit the throttle hard and it will push the car out wide. But if you do it too early, you're adding track distance and costing yourself time. So keep it on a fairly tight line through this inside curbing. Then transition a full throttle and exit and push it out. And this whole section in fast motion all sort of feeds off each other. Holding it tight in the left hander, then getting full throttle when you can when the car can take it. Now I'm using the shadow as the braking marker here and braking slightly after it. You want to take like a wide line into the apex and connect to a later apex on this curb, and then get hard in the throttle and push the car out. Now you've got to be very careful of the outside um, the outside curb in here that, as there is an off track. If you go too far out in that or get up on this um, off color grass here, it will give you a 1x. I avoided it on this lap. And as the car transitions into this second gear left hander, and you get back on the throttle, it will spin the rear wheels up quite a lot, and that can push you offline. Now hold tight in through this left hander. Again, the curbing is off color because it, that's the line to take in here, just um, hugging right, hugging left, sorry. Now my braking marker here is you can sort of see an off-coloured line on the curb. You're wanting to brake around that down in the third gear and throw the car up on the inside curb. You've got to carry the momentum from it's not like stop, then turn, then go. It's braking marker. Release the brakes while the car's carrying momentum and carry that up and over the final curb. But you don't want to go too deep. So just get over that and don't go up over this track too much. You want it to ideally stop about on this right hand curbing, but if you go just a little bit too far over, it will catch the car and throw it off the track or um, delay your exit. Most of these corners are um, trail braking around here. And I had to double pick the throttle up and exit there as I didn't want to push it too wide. Now just take a very tight line through all these corners. And I took a tight line to the, um, to the finish line. And that's the lap. That was a 29.5. I don't know what we'll see towards the end of the week when everyone's um, got a little, a fair bit of practice. I suspect people will be practicing this basically all through week 13, so we should see some good times. Here's a lap in fast motion. <laughs>